Atlas, mobile unified communications client and docking station. The solution is made up of five key components. We have the Android smartphone, starting with Android smartphones 2.2 and above initially. There's a select um, group of phones that we're targeting. We have the mobile UC client, which is available from the Verizon App Store. Um, it does come with a, a, an accessory. This is it's optional. It's $125. Client that is downloadable from the storefront. That's a seven dollar monthly recurring subscription. In order for the solution to work, it requires a Cisco Unified Communications Manager or a Vive Communication Manager, um, PBX platform, but also a configuration tool which basically marries the PBX DID with the mobile device number. So um, I'll give you a little demo here of some of the screenshots and um, devices in action. Here's the docking station. We call it a universal docking station because it has a number of tiles here that can slide and this micro USB cord can connect to a, your Android device depending on where the connection is. So you can be in portrait or landscape mode. This is the home screen. So when the device is docked, this is the home screen that, is, that pops up. And if you want to make a call and enable some of the PBX feature functionality, you can it's the leading PBX feature functionality like transfer, conferencing, abbreviated dialing, SIM ring. So I can demonstrate a couple of those for you today. But the beauty of this is you're eliminating your traditional IP desk phone, integrating the wireless phone. You're able to maintain your business identity and your mobile identity with two numbers and manage those separately, but you're down to a single device. Um, when you go mobile, it's transparent because calls made to your business um, number are forwarded to your mobile device and you can answer them remote while at your desk or away from your desk. So we'll demonstrate a little short code dialing here. Here we have, um, we're going to dial an internal number within the enterprise. So pick up the phone. It's dialing another intercompany number. On the screen display here, can you mute yourself for the feedback? On the screen display here, you'll see transfer, conferencing, contacts, applications. These are the features that are available to you while up and running. So we can then maybe want to transfer this call to another um, number within the entity. So let's get a number I can read, 429. We can do a transfer without a talk first. And we can pick up the call. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Great. All and right. can you tell us a little about the dual um, the dual number setup? So now what this just displays displays too is the business identity when it called in. So that was the DID of the PVX, <clears throat> right. not the mobile number. So you can maintain your business identity in the office or out of the office. So it's a BYOD setup where you can bring your own personal device. And but still use it on the on the business PBX. Absolutely, and you can still maintain your your personal mobile identity if we're out of office. Um, so I can demonstrate that um, from the home screen. We have widgets where you can be prompted on every call, or you can set a default where all calls are business or all right. calls are mobile. So I want to make a call to a colleague. I oops, home screen. We'll pull up the dialer. Dial pad. Show sure the number. We dial. And the, there it's prompting you for your identity. So Great. I want to make a business call, just select business. The call goes through. Then it'll display the DID of the PBX. Great. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Have a good day.